I I can't see myself. Is it live? Hello, 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 hello. Ah, hi, hi, everybody. How are you? How are you? Everybody okay? But I can okay at this day. How is the last five days preparation going? So tell me in the chat. Are you guys nervous? Are you guys nervous? You must be nervous. Everybody is so nervous these days. Yeah, I know, I know. I I remember my time. I was super duper nervous in my time as well. Super duper nervous. So, yeah, you must be nervous as well. I really think so. One second. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So we are here to discuss the strategy that you should follow for the last five days of the preparation. Okay. Oh wow, Sa Sapasu is ready for the war. Oh my God! Hello, Nibisha. Uh, why did you become a teacher? Somebody, Mark Tuber, is asking me why. Why did I become a teacher after graduation? Because I love teaching. Because I love teaching. uh you you can't do it if you if you don't like it people who don't like it and do it are horrible teachers i do it i like it i i'm still not the best but getting there okay all right so hi everybody uh first of all if you are here for the first time then i am your master teacher aditya pandya i've done btech in mechanical engineering from iit kanpur and I want you to like our video and subscribe to our channel for physics related videos okay now the last 5 days are remaining guys and we have to make a good strategy for how to prepare okay there is no time to waste and there is uh, no time to play, play pubg there is no time to do instagram okay we just have to do study but also have at the same time we have to take enough rest Okay, so how do we go about it? So, first thing, before we start today, and before every time you start studying, this is one very important thing that each and every one of you can do, and that is, you can always try to remember in your head what you have studied the previous session. Okay, try to do that. Try to mentally revise everything you study. Over and over and over and over and over again, and keep a track of things that you have forgotten. Oh, I forgot that formula. Oh, I forgot that formula. Oh, ये समझ नहीं आया मेरे को. Okay, everything you do after your session has ended, you have to reflect on it. Okay, you have to think about it. You have to um, try to remember it in your head over and over. Okay, do that every time after you get up from study. Okay, yes. Now, here is a very good quote that I like from. I can't pronounce his name. I really cannot pronounce his name. But this is so right, and this is so right, especially for you guys. That what comes easy for you will not last, and what lasts will not come easy for you. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's start today's session. Okay, so five strategy. to is 2020 je physics okay how what are the things that we should do now the first thing the first thing i think suri sir has talked about it plenty of times and everybody will say you the same thing but it's so important that i also have to repeat it here and that is focus on the topics you already know guys okay this is not the time to worry about the things you do not know okay i know there are going to be topics like semiconductors there are going to be topics from uh, um, semiconductors and topics from inorganic chemistry that you just you will not love them kuch bhi ho jaye you hate those topics i understand and now is not the time to worry about those topics okay do not open those chapters at all just start practicing the topics that you already know and keep practicing over and over and over and over and over again now you are going to give a lot of mock tests in the mock tests as well 
from the chapters that you have not prepared if you cannot solve please don't think about it after the test just worry about the chapters that you have already studied those are your strong points see if you were able to solve the questions see if there was anything new that you could learn in those chapters only do not do not i repeat go to the chapters that you do not like okay communication systems nahi aata done gone worry about mechanics worry about electromagnetism worry about the chapters that you like capacitors solve kar sakte hum log acche se current electricity solve kar sakte hum log acche se do all those chapters okay yeah cadbury baki hai cadbury milegi sab logo ko jin jin logo ki cadbury baki hai sabko milegi okay all right the next important thing that you have to do okay the next i will come to do positive visualization but the next important thing you have to do is you have to set up a distraction free zone okay what exactly is a distraction free zone if you see look here this is my work area okay i have two rooms in this house this is my work area this is where i sit and this is where i work okay and when i sit here i do not take my phone with me my phone is always in the other do you know why i do that because every time you i sit here with my phone somebody or the other somebody either whatsapps me uh, whatsapps me somebody send, sends me an email this that there are so many distractions okay when you are working when i am working i do not want to be distracted that's why i'm sitting here and there is no phone around that is what you need to do as well your friends are going to distract you a lot these times okay kisi ne kuch padhai nahi kiya hoga wo puchhega kisi ko bas hi bolna hoga wo message karega everybody will have something to tell you okay there are going to be a lot of messages on your phone there will be a lot of instagramming that you would like to do okay so many things that can distract you is there on your phone and when you get to study when you are going to study please take it away from you keep it away from you at least maintain as much distance so that you can't just reach it by your hand okay you have to at least get up to get it okay utna distance at least maintain kar okay if you can do that then you will be able to concentrate on your studies otherwise you will be distracted every two or three minutes okay so this is very important set up a distraction free zone okay and also at the same time many of you i know i can i look at me look at me i know many of you are studying from your bed okay bahut log bed pe baithe baithe padhai karte if you if you do that tell me in the chat if you do that tell me in the chat do you do that do you do that do you uh study from your bed yes i think so i think so many of you do that okay do not do that do not do that bed pe baithe baithe late late nobody can study okay it 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 feels so good to do that itna mast ekdam rajai ud ke book khol ke you can do that but it's not going to benefit you in any way it's always it's it's a good strategy to sit on a table and a chair and then study okay now next thing is do positive visualization what exactly is doing positive visualization so the thing is that this is the last 5 days and as the d day comes along okay the stress level in everybody is just increasing dheere 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 theek hai and i think many of you by now have lost your sleep many of you have by now lost your appetite okay kuch khane ka man nahi karta sone ka man nahi karta hai bas andar se tension lagi rehti hai yaar kal ke mock test mein itne marks aaye parso ke mock test mein itne marks aaye 40 ka score kaise nahi aaya mere ko physics mein this that so many things are worrying you right now okay and one good way to bring down your stress levels is by doing positive visualizations and this is where you will need to force your brain to think of positive thoughts okay think about how it would be like to feel that freedom right after the test think about how just all the weight will be gone off your shoulder okay think about what you will do with your free time okay fantasize about all those things and think about how even if you are not confident about yourself think about how you will do very well in the exam okay force yourself to think about that if you do that if you do that really you will be able to 
ब्रिंग डाउन दैट स्ट्रेस लेवल्स अभी वो एग्जाम में परफॉर्मेंस जो भी हो इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट मैटर्स इज राइट नाउ यू नीड टू बी एट योर टॉप गेम ओके एंड यू आर नॉट एट योर टॉप गेम इफ यू आर जस्ट स्ट्रेस्ड आउट ऑल द टाइम okay if you feel that acidity in your stomach all day and all night and you're not able to sleep at night just worrying about okay kal uth ke main ye padunga par so uth ke main ye padunga if you just find yourself constantly doing that just try to do some pos- positive visualizations it will help you a lot okay so please guys this is very very important okay now next important thing okay now so many of my students i am asking them every day what time are you guys going to sleep okay and there are two or three students who go to sleep at 11:30 or 12 at night okay but most of you are going to sleep at 2 o'clock 3 o'clock and then you are getting up at uh, to, you go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the night you're getting up uh, next day at 9 o'clock in the morning and then studying again if you do that you are only sleeping for 6 hours that is not enough that is not enough at all okay you have to sleep guys when you are awake when you are awake there are there are a lot of chemicals which are waste chemicals which are getting accumulated in your brain okay and they get cleaned out only when you go to sleep also at the same time when you are learning anything when you are me- trying to memorize anything those memories only get solidified when you go to sleep okay you can't it it doesn't solidify if you are not properly sleeping so it's super important it's super important that you sleep properly every day okay at least 8 hours of sleep is recommended and you will be like sir but sir but i want i want to prepare more sir those 2 hours i need to prepare more na sir no you will not it will be counterproductive okay you will try to study more but it will cause more harm than it will help okay it's very very important that you go to sleep okay and by the way many of you will be like sir but when i go to sleep na sir it's not i don't get sleep immediately okay i'm lying on the bed and just the sleep is not coming and there's a reason for that because you are on your phone all the time right up until the point you go to sleep okay these rays which are coming out of the screen they are not good for your eyes okay and the blue colored rays are especially bad for your sleep okay they trick your brain into thinking it's still daytime and it doesn't let you sleep after that so therefore it's very necessary that you stop using all your phones and e- each and every gadget at least half an hour or at least an hour before you go to sleep and when you go to sleep make sure that your room is very cold okay it's 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 beneficial to sleep in a cold room your sleep will be much uh, deeper and also at the same time your room should be absolutely dark kabhi bhi light on rakhe mat sona okay then just the whatever amount of sleep you got will be a waste if you do that okay so now what else you can do see next thing you have to do is set up milestones okay and now milestones uh, what i'm talking about is set up hourly milestones okay let's say you have to you have a time of 3 hours to do self study today then for those 3 hours set up a target for each hour it would be better if you set up a target for each half an hour so for example in the next half hour i will do 15 questions or in the next half an hour i will do 10 questions but hard questions okay set up milestones for yourself okay take a piece of pen and a paper and write it down on pen and paper okay when you do that after when you are done doing that what you can do is you can just tick that put a tick mark there when you do that it it gives you a lot of confidence that okay i set out to do this now i did this i can do more okay and also it helps you keep track of how much you have gone ahead how much you were able to study and how much more you will be able to study okay so set up hourly milestones it will make you super efficient if you do that okay every hour i will do this much i will learn this concept i will do this i will do that do that over and over and over okay 
and one last point now i understand time is limited here everybody and nobody wants to take breaks in between studies okay and if you do want to take breaks you want to use those breaks too to instagram or playing one game of pubg i understand i understand pubg is super important i i completely understand okay you are very good at it and you think you have a future playing no don't play pubg okay don't play pubg what you have to do instead is you have to take small but frequent breaks between your studies okay your brain gets tired very very fast okay it's not it's not equipped to do this hard work this much hard work at a stretch of 3 4 hours in one go so what you need to do is you need to take frequent breaks every uh, you you need to take small but frequent breaks every now and often okay what i would suggest is study for 30 minutes and then take a 5 minute break study for 30 minutes then take a 5 minute break okay when you do that when you do that okay in between those breaks your brain can relax now many of you are thinking yeah that sounds nice 5 minute ka break lenge 5 minute instagram karenge and then we'll come back to study no 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 don't do that when you take that 5 minute break you are not supposed to do anything in that 5 minute break you are supposed to just sit back relax probably take a walk take a have a glass of water and just reflect on what you have studied in the last half an hour okay the studying part is very important guys but the reflection part the, the, the thinking back to what you just studied okay that is also very important when you do that only then your the memories get solidified in your brain okay so it's very very important not just to study but also to take frequent breaks in between okay 5 minute break 10 minute break okay and then and then reflecting on what you have studied okay if you want you can download apps from google play there's a, there there is an app called pomodoro okay you can download that and use that to keep track of what you are studying okay now these are the five things that you need to do if you do all of them properly i guarantee you that your score will go up okay but you have to do them honestly and properly all right everybody now all the best for the exams that are going to start in 5 days okay i hope everyone will do well i i know everyone will do well okay do not take so much stress please go to sleep on time please go to sleep on time you have to sleep for 8 hours a day okay all the best everybody if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe to our channel and we have made a telegram group okay and you can join our telegram group to be part of the discussion you can tell us which topic you want me to get want me to cover and you can tell us where you are finding difficulties okay also uh, have a nice day everybody and i will see you guys tomorrow bye what do i do stop